Hey there, I'm the Holder Fire family, and welcome to another reaction. This time, we're reacting to the third Hell of a Boss short, uh, Weeaboo Mission Weeaboo Boo. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, I'm guessing with the title Weeaboo, there's gonna be a Weeaboo in here. Starting right off the bat, okay. Yeah, totally, totally. Okay, wait, I gotta this. Oh my god, of course, it's the like devil with the innocent Neko cat girl like poster i don't think it's a manga uh of course blitz still has the moxie and millie figures paper figures that he made i love how they even put details of like all the coffee stains is it coffee stains or just burnt stains on there from his cup how hot is his coffee then if he's like how hot is his coffee if it's burn marks and not just stains okay I'm not going to say anything yet about this because we might zoom in, so it'll be a lot easier for me to read, and I've learned my lesson with that as I pause, and then all of a sudden they zoom up on stuff, so. There we go. I got that. Okay. Target, Emberlyn Pinkle. I don't... What are you doing? I think my cat's got the zoomies right now. Um, location, boring suburbs in a boring town. I'm surprised they didn't call it Boring View USA. Description, gothy 20-something. <laughs> gothy 20-something. She shipped Scrimbleson with Seanathan instead of Blorbinzo seven years ago. And it's basically incest or something. Not really, but this bitch seems really upset about it. So wait, she's the target. So then, who's the one hiring them to go after her? I'm curious oh, what the thanks, reason is. Bills, but I don't think I need backup to take down some suburban college girl. You enjoy. You know, for some reason, I can't help but imagine this being like a really extreme version of like Uzi from Murder Jones. <laughs> like a human version of her, but like more extreme. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just the, the fact that she's goth and she's like 20, 20 something. Uh, and like Blitz is underestimating her and thinking, oh, she's gonna be an easy like weeaboo to take care of or whatever. And then it's just gonna be like, uh, -uh. Stop she's gonna have like rail guns and just like all <laughs> these weaponry. Is it just gonna be Blitz? <laughs> I swear, Blitz when he's like full on slink mode, like sneak mode, he looks like a snake crossed with like a lizard. <laughs> You are being such a cat possum. I don't know what to call you. Actually, no, Moxie's the possum. I need. To, I want to see what she was watching. No, there's subtitles there. Is that. I cannot read that. Is it? But the drawing style, the art style of this. Something. Art. God, I cannot read that. <laughs> oh, bingo. B -Y -N -G -O. I can't tell if Bl Blitz is like dyslexic or if he just doesn't know grammar. B Y N G O? Okay. I love killing things with oh, please. Animals. She's not going to what you expect. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, what? Okay, I need to like, I'm, I'm gonna watch through this short without pausing, even though I already have, because I feel like there's gonna be quite a bit of details in this short, and I don't wanna like, you know. Actually, you know what, is that really an issue? Is that really an issue? Should I really care about that? Because I feel like this isn't a music video, this is not a song, so I could do that. It's not like I'm interrupting a song. You know what, actually, I'm gonna just pause it, screw it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I gotta see this. Oh. Oh, what the and of course, the knife ends up in a like, like on stabbing a pentagram goat doll. Our souls will. Ah. It that was loud. Holy crap, Brandon. Uh, our souls will, I'm guessing, intertwine together for eternity. What are you watching? Ah. And of course, she's got cat ears, headphones. Ah. Oh. Was there anything on the tab? 
She's using a Apple, isn't she? Because Apple has that style uh, taskbar. That switch up for her voice. It went from ow to oh. <laughs> like, what is that? I uh, must be watching them damn hentes again. Oh my god, that's Brandon. I swear to god, Brandon voices both of them. Why won't she leave? Okay, no. <laughs> the one the father be like, she watches that damn hentai, the other one just why won't she leave? Oh my god. A what real demon. Are you? Uh, you know what? I really hope that this short is going to be, like, poking fun at the people who simp after the demons in the show. Or, like, the ones that legit try to summon demons thinking that they're going to get these kind of demons. Because they want to do stuff with them. I'm just like, please tell me they poke fun of that. It's not just a weeaboo thing. I'm your worst fucking nightmare, bitch! No, you're going to turn her on is what? It's official merch from Akuma no Oto. Akuna Mon... Huh? Akuna Momonto? It's official merch from Akuma no Oto. Akun... Akuno Momonto? I'm not even gonna try. Oh, that protects its wearer from... The purr. The purr when she realizes... <laughs> also, how does some random website give you something that actually works on real demons? Are you a demon? Like... Uh, real. Demon? Run far and fast, Blitz. <laughs> I'm telling ya! Here to steal a little kitten like me? The way she put her hand over her crotch. Please! <laughs> oh, why do you think I would do something like that? Monster lover pro Oh, she's a monster effer. <laughs> the t Is it safe for me to pause on this? You know what? It, it should be fine. I don't, I don't think there's gonna be anything too bad on here. Uh, hiss me. Uh... Demon, what is that? Nell me? Hell me? Yeehaw, cowgirl. Oh my. G is that a freaking minotaur? Oh, okay. And then you have a Cthulhu like body. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we got a better one. Melt me. The dive in my thighs. Oh my. Bite me. I mean, biting is a little kind of much. I'm not going to say anything. Werewolf. Uh, muscle me up? Like, I want you, but you might eat me. Scales, a slow burn story. Your claws feel so good. Is it bad that some of these interest me? <laughs> I'm not. My first tie with an eldritch horn. No. Let me see. Oh, wait, no, no, no. What's the title of the book? So <laughs> this is too much. He's dead, but we can make you. Okay, that's gross. I'm sorry. Zombie or whatever it is. That kind of all I can think of is, if, is like they're in the middle of doing it. And all of a sudden his schlong like pops off. Because it's just like, yeah, rotting. Ugh. Demon. Di I'll let <laughs> Ew. My dragon daddy. More spikes, the better. I'm not a furry. Who came up with these? These are great. <laughs> a monster? I hardly know her. Chump my rump. Oh my. Let me smash. Let me smash, Becky. <laughs> oh, you're one of those. <laughs> Why do I feel like that voice actors and like some people in the industry see someone come walking in with like a whole bunch of like, not a whole bunch, but like in a certain outfit or get up or they talk a certain way and then it's just like, oh, you're one of those. <laughs> You know what this rem- Did she seriously just call him Blitzy Coon? Um, but you know what this reminds me of? Oh god, this reminds me of, uh, was it Stolas that said the same thing to Blitz? Where he was like, and he's like, oh, what are you gonna do to me? Are you gonna ravish me? Or something like that. This kind of reminds me of what Stolas did. Are you putting some sort of nasty spell over me? Her voice. I can't get over the swapping between, like, like, innocent, like, are you putting a spell on me? Like, it just goes from, like, all, like, high school girl, like, high like high voice to just, like, really, like, sultry. <laughs> like, yeah. But, no, I'm literally just standing. <laughs> the expression's on him. <sighs> I can't. This sort's actually, I think, my favorite. No, okay. It's my favorite for comedy so far, but for, like, uh, like, um, emotional, it would definitely go to 
the million million uh, Sally one. If you say so, master. Oh my God, she has a Charlie plushie. Nah. <laughs> I mean. Wait, I just noticed. Oh my God, she's got tail, anal beats, and a, in a. I'm actually blanking on it. You know what? You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm just completely blanking on I, I love how I know those two, but then this one, I'm just like, dildo. Thank you. Thank you, brain. I need you, I need you to be dirty for more than a moment. Daddy. But when you look into my eyes. The spank it's board, like paddle board. No control over my What's his face? Satan? Is that your lord? Whoever did the expressions in just this episode is, or not episode, this short is too good. But when you plan to offer me to as a sexual sacrifice. Sexual sacrifice? you have me, you realize you can never go through with it because I'm the only woman who could ever- Oh my god, she's running a fan. <laughs> feel something after the loss of your wife. Loss of your wife? <laughs> no, I got, I can't, I gotta read this. The mysterious demon snarled in defiance before Saiyan. He raided off of him and his glowing eyes blazed with fury. As any as my demon lover took a stand against his lord, I felt my love for him burn even harder than the fiery depths of hell. I won't let you have her, my demon hissed with a mutinous glare. You took my wife from me, saying, Never again, Emberlin Lightness Demon Bone Demonia Pinkle is mine. No, I don't actually want to read this. Wait, wait, Satan growled, bearing his sharp fangs. My knees trembled at the staggering size of them. He was so close I could feel his hot breath on my skin, which was exposed as a result of my sacrificial outfit. Something, I was forced to wear a lace bra. Something after the loss of your wife. Not the gecko blink, or the, what do they call it, the frog blink? <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, this is officially my favorite short. allow me to come to the same fate. Ew, lady, look, I was sent here to kill you, all right? You were a- I was sent here to kill you, not F you. <laughs> bitch online one time, someone didn't like it, they put a hit on you, I know- Wait, you mean to tell me the hit on her is because she called them a bitch <laughs> I mean, it sounds accurate. I feel like if, if, if these guys actually existed, that would definitely happen. You want to kill me? Oh yeah, even more now. Of course. The eye twitch. <laughs> My soul, but I'm destined for this. Bitch, can we hurry this up? I can. Oh yes. Thanks. <laughs> the cut. God, this uh, the short's too good. Why is the comedy so good in the short? <laughs> the cutoffs, the expressions, just blitz. Not. <laughs> I feel like his expression, like so many of his expressions from this short, are gonna be used for memes. Step, step. Yeah, it's done. So you can go ahead and wire me that money now and I'll- I'm trying so hard not to laugh and pause so much. I've already paused a lot for this freaking story and I just- <laughs> I'm here, Blitzy Coon! What's she look like? I saw your billboard! I'm here for you, my- Okay, she actually looks way better and is cuter as a demon. Blitzy Coon! He has a new simp. I think this is also the first time where I've actually, like- I've not been happy to see someone be killed by IMP, but like actually enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, like I, I felt like just genuine joy. Like, yeah, let's see how this turns out after he kills her. And also, God, there's just this short was so good. Oh my God, I just the just this part <laughs> with the step step step. Just make sure she's dead. Step step step. He just looks so done. Blitz, Blitz is honestly his expressions and the animations for him in this episode. And I keep calling it an episode. In this short, are the best thing. Like she's funny, and all that stuff. But Blitz is just reaction to everything. I also feel like it's just legit. Like when people like voice actors, especially or like if, uh, let's be honest, if the characters were real, in like most series, if they ever encountered these kind of fans of theirs. 
I feel like they would react like this. Just they'd either kill you, run away, or I don't know. I feel like very few characters would actually be into this type of girl, or not this girl, but into this type of fan. I feel like the ones that would would be the egotistic ones. Because then they'd be like, oh, yes, lust over me more. But for a majority of them, I feel like would react like this. Just die. Die. <laughs> oh, you're one of those. Like that. Oh, that, that would be the reaction. You're one of those. <laughs> but, all right. I, 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 hold on. Let me, instead of me going into my thoughts, I'll just stay on the screen. But let me get rid of the, let me get rid of this. Yeah. Because there's not really much for me to say about the short that I haven't already said. But yeah, for... Out of the three so far, God, it feels weird that there's only been three. It feels like there's been more. Um, but yeah, this is, I would say, definitely my favorite overall. For emotions, no, because that's obviously not this, what this episode was, this, not what this short was going for. In fact, actually, the last one wasn't going for really emotions either. It's only been the first one with Sally and, and Millie. So I wonder if we're, we've had two, we've now had two comedy focused ones. So I wonder if the next one's going to be emotional or not. Um, are you guys preparing us for like a really emotional episode or something? Because <laughs> you're like giving us two comedy shorts in a row. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, definitely my favorite so far uh, out of the three shorts. Um, God, honestly, it might be, I don't know. Like it might honestly be some of my favorite comedy too out of the whole series. Like as a whole. Just the way his expressions were animated and drawn. Just, I don't know. I just feel so. I feel like they're very meme worthy, and it's very appropriate for an a, rea a reaction to someone like that. Um, also, I love that the shorts are like as high a quality as the episodes, if not more. Not, and I, no, I want to say more. I would say yeah, they're just as high quality as the episodes, um, and I appreciate that. That it doesn't feel like the shorts are rushed out, like uh, you know, lesser quality. Let's just get them out there to entertain the you know the fandom and stuff. It's more like they really feel like they're just like little glimpses into not even glimpses because this isn't really like a it's not building upon the lore and it's not building upon they're almost like you know what they remind me of they kind of remind me of crumb size fillers it's not a whole episode of filler but it's like a crumb sized and i have nothing against fillers um especially like if the fillers are done well i'm completely fine with it it's the ones that get really zany or like out of not out of yeah like i guess kind of out of character or just really ridiculous situations whereas this feels like it is it's just enough <laughs> and i enjoy it um but yeah overall for this short plot characters animation music music i didn't really notice i don't think there really was much at all in this short uh which understandable um but for the for plot characters and animation uh i would say 10 out of 10 um I feel like the only thing I would say that's probably like a nitpick of mine would be the Weeaboo girl or whatever her name is. Um, she could have been more annoying. So her dying is like kind of like a yes kind of thing. Like, yeah, kill her kind of thing. Um, whereas I was more curious on how much worse she would get when she ended up in hell, which we didn't really get to see much of. Just a brief thing. But I wonder if she's going to reappear at all in the series like in the actual episode or something like that like she'll be in the background maybe it's like blitz's talk or something it'd be kind of funny if stolas like if stolas and blitz end up together and then if she pops out and is like a jealous stock matter she turns into a villain <laughs> that'd actually be a funny tie-in from just a little short to like actually being a, a villain or something like that that actually be, that actually would be interesting uh it'd be cool <laughs> but yeah anyway uh those are my thoughts for this short i hope you enjoy this reaction have a wonderful morning after night and keep running bright see ya